we're going to do a small talk about Splinter Cell. One of the things that you need to know is the month of April is very important. It's some kind of trigger, a mark where they have to say something or want to say something. It's a really good time for them to say something. And believe it or not, in March, I had a a idea of doing a video saying, if we're going to hear anything, it's going to be in the month of April. Well, guess what? We're here in the month of April, and three things have happened. Number one, um, for the Splinter Cell remake, there was a little bit of information that came out. But not the kind of information that you would expect, but instead, on their Facebook page, Ubisoft Canada, they changed their actual um, background image and their... Um, photo image, the main photo, to both show Splinter Cell. And I'm showing them, showing them to you over here somewhere probably. But then something else happened. I got a leak. Now, I am not special in any kind of way, okay? I'm not special. I did not sign an NDA. I've signed NDAs, but I haven't signed an NDA from these guys. I'm not related to them. I'm not connected to them. Twice. Anyway, I have a leaked image right here. And I'll show you the leaked image over here. And the beautiful there, there's there's something beautiful about this leaked image. At the top, you actually can see the original splinter cell. Okay? That's the way it originally appeared a long time ago. We were not aware that the things that um that will be pulled from Splinter Cell in its last renditions were the light on the back of him, um, Sam Fisher, the um, radar, which is very important, especially for video games these days. And we weren't um, really too in tune to how is this PC game gonna play as a modified version of a of a console game because it, it wasn't it wasn't from what I saw it wasn't easy for the programmers to turn this into a console game it was not easy but right beneath it you can see the newer version the newer version is unique because you can see the new and the old together we see more emphasis on the lighting um, on the far right hand side we also see bottom left hand corner bottom left Bottom right hand corner, um, you also see Mark and Execute being added to an older version of the game. So no longer do you have to have your controller in your hand and try to quickly get this person, quickly get that person. You can do the marks at Mark and Execute that was shown in Splinter Cell Conviction and above. I like that. The radar or LIDAR is active here. I like that. Um, this is just phenomenal to see a leaked image and it looks really good. And you can also tell that, hey, they, the, the, the programmers have listened to people who've played the game in the past. Make the letters a little bit bigger so people who are actually reading the screen and not just listening to the script can actually see and read the screen. So there's a lot of things that, that have changed just in the interface alone, but you can tell that they did go back and get some of the best of Splinter Cell Conviction and some of the best of probably Splinter Cell Blacklist. Those are the two games that I love. I love those the most, more than the originals. And I gotta be the one to say, if these features are in the early one, maybe I will wanna give this more than just a play for um, Team Spirit. Maybe I wanna really go in and invest in playing this game premium level. I don't know. I don't it's I like it. I like what I see. You know what you know what I'm doing right now? I'm drinking the Splinter Cell green tea right now. That's what I'm doing and it's tasting. From what I can see it's tasting. So I will try my best to um I will blur anything that's gonna really um no you know what I don't have to because this actually came from the Splinter Cell community. So I can just put this up as is. It just it didn't come from an individual. So I'm gonna put this up as is. Um, and for those who have been waiting to hear something about Splinter Cell, I guess now is the time to say, hey, finally we're we're getting something 
some things are happening and I can nicely and politely put on, <clears throat> put the mask on, okay? Or the glasses on and be happy to, to do this here. Oh, it sounds so good. It sounds so good. I just want to see it in actual gameplay. That's what I want. I want actual gameplay. Um, and I, I definitely want to say this here. I still want diversity in this game. And I want diversity not just to have male, female, and people of um, different colors in the game. But mainly because if you actually played the original Splinter Sales, and I will say this probably every single time I do a Splinter Cell video um, from this point on, Sam was never alone. He's never been alone. Sam was at his point where he was in his um, heavy 30s or 40s, and he was in the process of training other agents. He was never alone. It wasn't just him and Vic. It wasn't him by himself. He always had someone else with him, not just in the background, on the radio, in his ear, but also in other locations. There were other agents. And that is one key that if anything from the guys in, in Ubisoft Canada can bring to the table, I think more people will join in in the gameplay. Even if you look at X Defiant and um, Rainbow Six, you will see people want characters that are a little bit more diverse than just Sam. We love Sam. I love Sam. Okay? I love Sam. I, I bought a uh, $150. No, I didn't buy it. I actually told my wife to buy it. $150 um, backpack just to have a backpack like him. Okay? I don't have anything else to say. Except for... Um, I'm interested now. You're, you're combining new and old. I like that. These are the three things that have happened recently with Splinter Cell and the franchise. I'm not saying the franchise is dead, but this one image is showing proof of life. Proof of life. Just like Chrissy Bear and the um, Man on Fire. I need proof of life. This image is proof of life. <laughs>